It's the holiday season, and that means it's time for some shopping. How about some digital gifts? So we're with our tech expert, Ryan Eldridge from Nerds on Call. Uh, talk about digital gift giving. Well, this is kind of cool because you don't have to brave the stores, and a lot of us are consuming so much media and content online these days, and we're just kind of putting up with the free service versions of them. So mom and dad or something, you can get them last minute, or some of the kids, some of the stuff that they're using online, you can get them a better version than what they're already using. So. First, if you're gonna start, first start with what people are already using. So if they're using Hulu or Netflix or something like that, consider gifting them a subscription to one of those. Or if they listen to a lot of music, there's a couple of different things out there now. So Pandora is a great one. It starts anywhere from seven to $10 a month. So you can go Pandora, or you can do uh, Spotify or Apple Music and give them unlimited uh, ad-free content. Plus it also unlocks some extra content that you wouldn't normally get on the free service. Here's something that's kind of cool. If they do some online shopping at Amazon, consider giving them an Amazon Prime membership. It's only 99 bucks for a year. You get two, uh, two day shipping for free. Plus you get to unlock some of their cool streaming content. So you can do TV shows, music, as well as movies. And you get also uh, access to things like Kindle First and their Kindle Lending Library so they can get free books throughout the rest of the year. So here's another good one. YouTube just announced this a few weeks ago. This is called YouTube Red. It runs anywhere from $9 to $12 a month. And this gives them an ad-free experience on YouTube so you don't have to deal with those little pre-roll ads that are constantly coming up. And the interesting thing about YouTube is for young adults and children ages 14 to 24, they use YouTube more than any other social media platform, more than Instagram and more than Facebook. So if you've got a young, younger person in your house, you can get them something like this. That's a good little stat. I didn't yeah. know YouTube was even more popular with the tweeners than Insta. Yeah. Okay. One of the problems with this kind of gift giving though is they're often recurring charges for monthly. So what you can do to avoid that is go online and find a Visa gift card that you can get for one time use so that we can only give them as much as you want rather than having to pay for a year or two years or five years of service in case you forget. You can also call your credit card company and see if they give you a one time use credit card number so that way you can just give them only a month or two at a time. If you have millennials on your gift list, this is really the way to go. Yeah, because once they, they're going to consume all this stuff online and he, talking about millennials, they're using things like the iTunes gift store or the iTunes store or the Google Play store. You can just get a gift card for one of those places and let them buy whatever they want. It's kind of like allowing them to go to a store with like a Target gift card and buy whatever they want rather than having to deal with what you choose. And they don't even have to go to the mall. So okay. here's some sort of unexpected ones. Audible.com is a great place for audiobooks. I do a lot of traveling and so I listen to a lot of books and for 15 bucks a month, they can choose from a vast library of books and most audiobooks will cost more than $15 anyway. Plus, this will also give them 30% off other books in the store. You can also go to iTunes, obviously. You can give them a gift card, like we were talking about earlier. Give them a gift card so they can buy games or books or movies or TV shows or whatever they want. And then lastly, check out Texture. Texture by Next Issue. This will give them access to up to 150 magazines like GQ, Parents, and Consumer Reports. And then get them right to their digital device, like their tablet or their phone. That is so great. Yeah. It's even better than giving a gift subscription. Yeah, it's way better than even having to go to a store and having to fight all the crowds for that great gift. You can just get it all online and then you can go watch some TV. Ryan Eldridge from Nerds on Call, thank you so much You're for this welcome. digital gift guide. You're welcome. And we have a link to his website on our website, kptv.com.